Okay, hi everybody. This is more short video is to show you how to include an external library to define the diode behavior that we want in our uh, simulation practice. So I have previously built a circuit in which I will use my diode. It is just uh, consisting of a voltage source and a resistor. And now I will include here inside a diode, general, general purpose diode that you can find from the um, components panel up in the window. Left click. Ask button. So I have my general diode here, which is not defined as I want. So first of all, I will first of all I will wire it wire it with the circuit. Then the cursor. I will put the cursor on it. I will push the control button and then right click. Then right click. So I can change. I can change the. <clears throat> the kind of the device, okay? So I will go to the value field. I will change it with this name and then OK button. Now we'll insert a PSPICE directive with this op.op .op button up here. So left click and then I insert a command line in which I include so dot ink, dot ink include external file that it's located in my C drive so I put C slash and the name of my file because it is the location of my file My file is here, you can see. If you have it loaded to another location, you will have to use another location. Okay. I have my definition for the D1 and for 007, and then I set up a simulation of this is whip. Sources B1, linear between minus 2 plus 2 with 0, 1 increment, and that's it. I say run old windows. So, as you can see, I have the plot of the current versus voltage of a diode and with this exponential increment. So, you can now have your device, the diode, and use it in the practice for simulation. 